Just a reminder, before you go ahead and create your Amazon Associates account, Amazon requires that you have a fully functioning site with content on it. You will need to provide details of your site during the sign-up process. Make sure you have at least 10 blog posts on your site before going ahead and creating your account, otherwise your application may be rejected. It's time to create your first Amazon Associates account. Now, you may be thinking, first Amazon Associates account, how many of them am I going to need? Well, the thing with Amazon Associates accounts is that they're regionalized, meaning that if you sign up for an Australian Amazon Associates account, you'll only be able to generate links and receive commissions from products available on the Australian Amazon storefront. If you want to promote products available on the U.S. Amazon storefront, then you'll need to sign up for a U.S. Amazon Affiliates account. The process for signing up to all of them is just about the same. A full list of all regions that the Amazon Associates program is available in, along with direct links to their home pages, are linked in the video description. If you're not sure which region to start with, a good place to start is the region that most of your traffic will come from. This is determined by where you plan to focus your promotional activities geographically, whether that be via SEO or other marketing strategies. Shameless plug incoming. Our Shopify app has a feature where it will dynamically choose the right affiliate link to show to your user based on their location, so you will always send them to the right Amazon storefront. Check out the link in the video description for more information. Now, let's sign up for the program. You will need an Amazon account in order to sign up as an Amazon affiliate. You will be asked to sign in or create a new account when you click on the Sign Up button on the home page of the region of your choice. While there's nothing stopping you from using the account you're likely already using to buy stuff on Amazon, it's always a good idea to create a new one that you exclusively use for your new affiliate empire. Indicate who the main contact for the account is. As you're likely the only person working on your empire, it can just simply be you. List the websites and mobile apps you plan to post your affiliate links to. In our case, unless you're planning to post affiliate links on sites or mobile apps other than the site we just created, you can just simply list the URL of the site we just created. Another reminder, it's strongly recommended that you buy your own domain now so you can remove the Shopify branding from the domain name that comes with your site by default. Answer the questions about traffic and content. This is why we suggest you have at least 10 blog posts on your site, as if your site doesn't have much content on it, or even worse. Content from other sites, you're more likely to have your application rejected. Read and agree to the contract terms, then click finish. Now we play the waiting game. It may take Amazon between 1 to 3 days to review your application. You will receive an email once it has been reviewed. Hopefully, at this point your account will be approved, and you'll be ready to start adding affiliate links to the content you've just created. But before we get stuck into that, we need to cover some important ground rules about the Amazon Associates program in the next video. See you there!